Greetings. Welcome to the Developing Dad podcast, where we bring the Bible to bear on culture, education, and the family. I am your host, Michael J. Griffin Jr., and today we have another interesting topic. But before we get started, like, comment, subscribe, help me to build the channel. All right, to the topic. Save, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on, Black China. All right, we got to talk about this. One of my members asked me to comment on this in one of my um, previous live streams. So I'm going to do it. All right. Let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about it. Here we go. All right. So from uh, this, I think this is from, yeah, Faith Wire. It says Black China quits OnlyFans, changes lifestyle after becoming Christian. And she's quotes, let me let God lead me. All right. So how should we respond to this as Christians? I'm not going to read the entire article, uh, but I think I can give you some general precepts. To help you to understand when a celebrity uh, comes to Christ or when they profess Jesus, what should be our reaction? All right. Here we go. We're going to talk about this. All right. The first thing we should be doing. I'm going to bring this up. We should praise God. We should praise God for her conversion. Right. If it is if if it's a true conversion, Luke 15, 10 from the uh, KJV is actually says. ESV, what is KJV? Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. We should be rejoicing. If Black China, or I believe her uh, real name is Angela, has repented and trusted in Christ, we should be rejoicing. We should be praising God. Okay? I know there's going to be a natural reaction to be doubt, doubtful and skeptical as to whether or not she's truly a Christian and all these other things. But those of us who trust in Jesus, if she's truly repented, I mean, obviously, we're going to look to see if there's fruit there. But we, we're not in her life daily. The people who are around her, close to her, they should be checking to see whether or not there's fruit. We can check from the far, but we should be rejoicing, right? If the Lord saved, if the Lord has saved her and brought her out of darkness into his marvelous light. Look at this. This is true about her as well as us. No matter how public her sins may have been. This is the same thing is true about her as it is about us. Colossians 2, 13 through 15 from the King James Version. And you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in him. Her debt is canceled, just like ours. If she has repented and put her trust in Christ Jesus and her heart has been changed and the Holy Spirit has done a work in her, her debt is paid. So we should be praising God along with those who know her. All right. So what's the other thing we should be doing? All right. There's three things that I'm going to highlight in this video. The first is praising God. The second is realizing that she has a hard path. All right. The Bible sp- clearly speaks, speaks to this. I'm going to talk about it. Matthew 19, 24. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. She has money. She has fame. She has notoriety. She is hooked on, or was hooked or is hooked on the, the one of the most dangerous drugs, which is fame. Fame and fortune. Those two things are really hard to not have after you've had them. She has a hard path. This is not going to be easy for her because of the decisions that she's made in the past. And we're going to talk about those in a little while. She, this is hard. It's going to be hard for her, right? So we should be praying. We should be recognizing that, that this is going to be a hard path for her because of her riches, because of the things that she's done in the past. It's not going to be easy. So we should be recognizing that she may have she's a baby in in the faith. Right. Most likely she's just come into faith. She's been it for a year. She's going to be learning. There are going to be some missteps, some very public and open missteps that she's going to um, most likely uh, commit some some sins that she's going to commit. And she's on a journey just like the rest of us to Christian maturity. And that's going to speak well to the next point that I want to bring up. Let us also be praying that uh, we, we need to be praying for her. What do we need to be praying for her about? Well, she needs good discipleship. She needs true Christians around her that can call her to account. She's going to get a lot of pushback from the Internet and from social media. 
telling her what she should and should not do. We need to be praying that she has people close to her like Ephesians 4, 11 through 14 from the King James Version. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no longer children and no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. There are going to be people that want to deceive Black China. There are going to be people who want to uh, use her for um, for gain, for their ministry's gain. Hey, look, I'm the one that's discipling Black China. Oh, Black China's at my church. You know, like we got people coming to blah, 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 blah. She needs sound teachers who are going to be around her that care about her soul and not about what um, things that she can bring them, that her fame and notor notoriety can bring to them. We need to be in deep prayer for her so that she doesn't fall prey to these things. And it's it's a very, very hard road. Remember, we talked about that, that hard road that she's going to have to walk. Now, we've got that out of the way. Those are the three things that I think we should be thinking about as Christians. Now, what advice would I give to my sons if, let's say, they were bringing home a black china to the house and saying, Dad, I'm thinking about marrying this young woman. All right. This is where we're going. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. What would I be telling my sons? First son, you got to deal with knowledge. You need to know the situation that you're going into. This, all right, this is the situation you're going into. And this is her personal life. This is online for anyone to see. She has led a very open life, a very open and sinful life. Just because you've been sanctified by the Lord does not saved and sanctified by the Lord does not mean that you are all of a sudden wife material. So this is something that a lot of a lot of preachers will not tell you this. They're going to say, oh, yeah, she's saved. So she needs to be you need to, yeah, you need to wife her up. Mm -mm. Let's let's talk about this first. Let's look at her personal life. Right. We're just going to read this and talk about it. And we're going to wonder, we're going to like, hey, would you would you want to bring this home to your parents? Right. And I'm talking to my I'm talking to my sons in December 2011. Black China appeared in the music video for the song Rack City by rapper Tyga. Is it Tigger? Tyga? I don't know what it, she was said that it, uh, she has said that Tyga asked her to join him on tour that year, but she refused. They began dating. She had a son with him. They split in 2014. Um, she announced that look, what? Yeah, she has children with Rob Kardashian. She's announced that that uh, the Kardashian with his Rob Kardashian, they announced they split. They reconciled a few days later, but separated again. So she's in, been a, in a lot of relationships. Uh, Kardashian posted sexually explicit photos of Black China on social media, right? So some, somebody got them news and she and he posted. She took them and posted it. She actually, if you look back here at the top, she she started out as a stripper, right? At King of Diamonds. Um, yeah. Again, so this is this is the thing. These are the things that she has done in her past, right? Just because we come to faith in Christ does not mean it erases our past from a t uh, ephemeral perspective, right? A corporeal, like the, the why did I say ephemeral? All right, from the time bound from from this world today, right? I get my I got my two words mixed up, but yes, yeah, she is a follower of Christ. In March 2023, she revealed that she had been baptized in 2022. She deleted her OnlyFans, so she's taking steps. But additionally, you have to think about the fact that, look, this is when you're deciding whether or not you want to marry someone, you've got to take all of this into account. The things that she has done in her past are going to follow her for the rest of her life. Do you want to yoke yourself to that? If you are a man, you have to be able to make a wise decision. OK, her decisions. Well, if you're one flesh with her, you're going to reap the ramifications of those decisions as well. So what I tell my son to uh, wife up a woman who is like black China or even like someone who has the past as a stripper and all these. No, absolutely not. I'm not giving them that advice. I'm telling them that they need to um, look for someone else. I'm just keeping it 100. Uh, now, what the, the, the decision that they make will be upon them. And if they do marry her. Then then we're going to accept her as a uh, as a as a daughter and love her the same way we would love any of our other daughters that, that come into the family through marriage. But 
would my advice be to marry her? Absolutely not. I'm just keeping it. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Right. And that's that's the question that that's some of the things that we need to think about. Right. Our past decisions don't get obliterated. They get obliterated in the heavenlies. Right. And we are forgiven. And the debt, the record is set, uh, canceled against us. But we still have to deal with the ramifications of those decisions here on Earth. All right. So I'm going to leave you all with that. And until next time, be on the alert. Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. See you all around. Bye.